guys, gals, friends, and pals. This is Paul Eastex Twitch, and welcome to another episode of Saturday Game School, where we learn about a different game every Saturday of the year. Tonight, I'm joined on mic by Tom, Perfect Zero. Guten Tag. And also, Brandy Cat's off to my side. Hello. We are streaming HyperDot for Xbox. It is an Xbox Play Anywhere title, so it's also on Windows 10. You buy one version, you get it for both systems with cloud saves. It is also available on Steam. It is not on PlayStation, as far as I know. HyperDot sells for $20 on the Xbox and Windows 10 store. It's currently on sale for $16. That's 20% off. And it's also a, an Xbox Game Pass title. So if you get Game Pass, you can play it for no extra money. There we go. Yeah. So if you're entering the contest tonight, I highly encourage you, if you have Game Pass, to abstain from entering and let the people who don't have Game Pass have a whack at it. Yes, Icky agrees, it is on Game Pass. Yeah, I got a, like, a Game Pass task completed when I launched it just now. All right, we've got all these different colors to pick from. I don't know what that means. We'll go with green. Beginnings, is this some kind of arcade game or puzzle game? Oh, Jonas says it seems good. That's encouraging. All right, I'm a green dot. Am I trying to avoid things? I can let out some kind of pulse. Apparently the developers don't believe in tutorials. <laughs> That's all I had to do was live. I would love to know what the pulse does, because it doesn't seem to destroy the dots that are attacking. I'll figure it out. I want to know what the pulse does. It seems to have no effect. I'm assuming it pulses things. I can't tell. Uh, okay. Sorry, guys. I'm a little distracted. All right. People are being noisy outside. I like how it shows you where the things are going to come from on the outside of the circle or the sphere, whatever it is. It's really a circle, but I guess it's supposed to be kind of like a sphere. Yeah, I know it's very easy. Well, also, I still don't have my key lights in a good place. Oh, we don't even need the key lights tonight. Let's no. turn them off. <laughs> With no camera, there's no need for key lights. That's better. Are you ready for your close-up, Mr. Vindeville? Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, I think everyone else is not ready for my close-up. I'm totally ready. Yay. I like the pretty pictures. Yeah, me too. It's it's actually a nice minimalistic style. Minimalistic games can feel lazy, you know, but uh, this style seems to work for the game. I know Tom's not big on minimalism. Tom's all about going big and bold. Hey. New unlock. If it ain't big and bold, it ain't worth having. <laughs> See? <laughs> Yeah, if you're used to bullet hell shoot 'em ups, then this would be pretty simple for you. I like it. I'm just used to hell. Aw. Ultra optional. The music is kind of catchy. You know, it's ambient, soft music, but pretty good. Guys, I mentioned it in the newsletter, but I've been playing more of Metamorphosis. Achievement! Five levels. Which is last week's stream game, Metamorphosis, a first-person puzzle platformer, or just adventure platformer. Mackenzie was playing it, too. Did she actually start playing it? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I really love that game. It's not even that long. Like, if I had more free time, I'd have beaten it. But I had a lot of things to do this week. Yeah, but we have this week. Let's, let's talk about the wireless access point, the wireless extender thing. So we live in a two stairs, two story two townhouse apartment. Yeah, we only have That's two stairs. The rest of the stairs. Yeah, it's uh, I don't even get the point of the second level if I'm being honest. No, we live in a two story townhouse apartment. So all the bedrooms and the main bathroom are upstairs. Living room, my little work area, and the kitchen and tiny bathroom are downstairs. And for as long as I've lived here, the upstairs internet, the Wi-Fi wi reception has not been good. For a while, four years ago, I bought a wireless extender from Netgear. 
you know, to go with my Netgear router and modem. And I used it for a while, but it actually wasn't like I just had it in wireless extender mode and it wasn't helping much. It wasn't connected via wire to the router. Because, I mean, it's way upstairs, you know, it's like, it turns out Icky talked me through this. I needed a 50 foot cable and 50 feet is actually just long enough for where it needs to be upstairs. So I'm running now an ethernet cable all the way up to the extender and I have it in access point mode. And this has created much better internet access upstairs. Like now I can do a remote play for Xbox and Steam Link without very much loss in quality at all. Like the quality is quite good and we get we get our full upload speed and the download speed is just slightly reduced from what it would be downstairs, but like I mean, it's just it's so nice to finally have good internet upstairs. Thank you guys. Yeah, running the long wire, I don't know why I put it off. I mean, I should have just looked into what I needed to do and done it. You know, running the long wire, that took a while to, you know, get on a stool and put everything, hammer everything onto the wall and whatnot. But it was only like 16 bucks for the wire and it came with a bunch of staple things, you know, a bunch of the mounts, wire mounts, I guess they're called. That's so that cool. was good. Yep. And yeah, and this game is getting more interesting. Best option. Agreed. And like you can't, like I can't use a wire to connect to my tablet per se, or may, I mean maybe there is some way to add an adapter to the tablet, but you know, is it I, a Android or an iPhone or an iPad? It's a uh, Android, of course. I've never buy an uh, Apple mobile product. Oops. I honestly don't know if it'll work with an Android. I've never tried. But with an iPad, you can actually get an adapter for it. Ah, nice. Uh, you basically plug it into the Lightning or Thunderbolt port and uh, convert it from there. Yeah, Human Brian says all tablets have a way to do it. Yeah, how would an how would an Android tablet do it? I don't know if it has. I mean, it, it does have a USB-C port. Would it? It would just plug yeah, into the it. charging port. Mm-hmm. A USB that's to Ethernet adapter. Interesting, and that would be even better. But I mean, like, it gets good Wi-Fi reception now that the access point is upstairs you know it's like it's like it's next to the router and so finally it's good but yeah it wouldn't hurt to have the adapter just for different scenarios like where we're getting interference i like the lighting effect here they've actually now it looks 3d yeah, and maybe I these like things it. actually are flat 3d objects i like the dark levels are really pretty complete yeah i'm getting into it I agree, Jenna. I wonder how many levels it has. It has a level editor. You can make and share levels. I do know that. Nice. Yes. Stay in this. Yeah. There's a safe area. And they're adding all these mechanics, and it makes sense. Still don't know what the pulse does, and I can't do the pulse right now. They've taken away the ability. Just can't do the pulse period in this level. You tell me you don't have a pulse call? Do I need to no. call doctor? <laughs> Zombie. I wish I could sing. I'd sing zombie a little bit. Dark arena. Press A to begin. Decent music. I, I wish it was like really catchy music. But it, it totally fits the game, so I'm just nitpicking here. But I do like a super catchy electronic soundtrack, like what, um, God, what is that game? Starts... There's a platformer. Oh, I shouldn't have died there. It's a platformer, it's like electrics. I really can't think of the name of it, so now I sound silly. Anyway, it's the one where the, there's like, the music has like groans of pleasure in the background, you know, like moaning and stuff. <laughs> But the I don't music think anyone is, knows that game but you, Paul. It may just be sound effects. It may not be a part of the music, but the music is quite good in that one, whose name I can't think of, so why am I even talking about it? <laughs> if anybody can think of what it is, I think you play as a stick figure or a silhouette, and you have to fight the Pope and stuff like that. There's like an evil Pope. Interesting. Yeah. So you're saying a normal Pope. It's from <laughs> it's from the same publisher as Qbert. Like the publisher that currently owns the Qbert license made the game I'm thinking of. Electro Joy, isn't that what it is? It's like Electro Joy or something like that. Not a clue. Yeah, Tetris Effect does have good music. 
Yeah, the word joy is definitely in the title of what it is. Ah! Oh, I didn't move fast enough. Alright, let's try this again. There we go. Ah! I gotta collect the thing for some reason. What happens if you don't collect the thing is what I want to know. Do you just fail? I don't know. I think that maybe the level doesn't end. Because they're timing you. Oh. Ah. Yeah, we have Tetris Effect on... Is that the PlayStation 4 one? Or am I thinking of a different one? Icky says he likes Child of Eden. Child of Eden. Nice. Yeah, that was a cool game. Didn't they release a new Tetris Effect? Yeah, there's uh, a new they Tetris added some game. new stuff to it. Didn't they add like a 100 player mode or a webcam mode or something? Something like that. They did add something that was very unique. See, that one's timing you too. I see. The ones where you have to like collect something or stay in a certain Tetris spot. Connected. Yeah, but the, the Series X doesn't have a webcam, so it can't be that it needs a webcam. But the, the trailer for it at that Xbox reveal event definitely had a bunch of people playing on screen, which is interesting. Ah, whoops. Tom, have you made any more attempts at getting a Series X? Uh, not a, any series attempts, because it only seems to happen when I'm at work. Yeah. Which, of course, don't, for me, usually means I'm in a place that has no internet, because I'm building the internet. Don't you hate that? It's ridiculous. But yeah, they only offer them up in the daytime hours when a lot of the people who could afford such a thing are going to be at work. It's like, yeah, people who don't have a job or who work fast food jobs in the evening and that kind of thing, of course, they're off. But what about... Also, the people that don't do real, real work where they just sit around and <laughs> Yeah, there is that. And I mean, like, I'm a teacher, so I'm busy a lot of the time when I'm at work, but I also have times when I can sit at the computer and, and check on things. And I did try to get one from Walmart earlier this week. Was it Thursday or it was Wednesday, I think. Something like that. Got it in my cart, got all the way to the final checkout screen, and they took it out of my cart and said it was sold out. Like... Walmart could not be any more frustrating. It's just give the customer the middle finger. And there was a lot of refreshing the screen and getting this oh dear or something has gone wrong screen that's supposed to be cute but is actually just infuriating. Walmart, yeah, I mean, I why is Walmart the wish... only place getting the consoles in and letting us know in advance? You know, why can't it be someone who actually has a decent website and user experience? Uh, some of them may just be holding for Black Friday. But uh, what I wish is everybody would do what uh, uh, EVJ is doing with the and uh, instead of uh, everybody just randomly queuing up and hoping they get something, yeah, uh, they actually have a legit queue system where you at put yourself in the queue list. They reach out to you when they have one available, not before. And if you fail to respond within the eight-hour limit they give you, oh well, because eight hours is basically a very generous window. Also, wow, look at bots, this. Because a bot's not going to sit around and wait eight hours to check in. I agree. That does sound like a good system. It's ridiculous to get, yeah. Yeah, Walmart has, at least so far, as of Wednesday, Walmart had no bot protection at all. Like, nothing, no actions taken to limit the power of the bots. And people have said, rightly, Walmart doesn't care as long as they get the sale. But the thing is, you do have to care about customers some. A bot's not a real customer. Or it, it's, it's a reseller who's taking all your things away, you know, like, so that the actual customers can't get the thing. That's no good. Why, Walmart? Why? Best Buy on launch day didn't have bot control, but now they have a form of bot control where you you have to like check every 30 seconds or something once they make the thing available. It's weird, but I was able to get the Game & Watch that way. This is not that hard, guys, but talking while I'm doing it reduces my concentration some, and you do have to concentrate. Let them say something about Apple Way, allow people to buy, but the more people that buy, the longer you have to wait. I don't know what that means. I think but... there's, he's talking about you buy it and you're in a Jeez, this is hard. <laughs> as they come available. Yeah, I just don't like... All these times I've been to Walmart and waited around, why couldn't I have gotten an order in that'll get refilled eventually or at least gives me the opportunity to renew it like what Tom was saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I went through all this effort. Do I not deserve to get the product that I was trying so hard to get? It's just Walmart sucks. And they're the only ones who are consistently getting Xboxes in once a week and telling you when they'll be up. But the bots use that. They jump on that. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, but I did get a Series S ordered, guys, from Microsoft Store. Microsoft Store had the Series S up, like, basically all day one day. So we've got That's that pre-ordered. The the there is less demand. Use. Yeah. No, I mean, there's nothing wrong with the Series S except for its limited storage. Like, that's the bad thing no. about it. The built-in storage the performance is, is not good. Well, not as uh, good as it should be, but... No, I'm serious. Like, all the early reviews, the same games played, like, when they're running on the Xbox One S. And neither P is the average frame rate for a lot of games. Yeah, it's the weird that... It's it is a little bit weaker in some ways than, than the regular X, and that doesn't make sense to me. Like, it should have been exactly as powerful as the X, or more powerful, like, not slightly less. Like, I think the processor is more powerful, but it has less RAM, and there's probably something else that it's weaker in as well. But what less I'm concerned... Bandwidth. I want... Uh, is that the issue? But what I'm concerned yeah. with is I want the faster loading times that that baby brings because it still will load everything dramatically faster, and, and load times are actually one of the things that make me enjoy a game less. But you have faster loading times, it's called your computer. Yeah, but I'm not... So that's great when I'm playing EDF, but although I'm still limited by everyone else's load times. But, uh... Yeah, no, I well, mean, no, like, EDF we play... is just its own little mess, honestly. <laughs> that game is not well optimized. But when you play one player, doesn't it load faster? I, I haven't noticed. Uh, a little bit, but let's like said, that's less about your system and more about the game. But when you're playing any kind of multiplayer game where everyone loads into the level at once, then you're limited by everyone's load times. Like, the slowest person affects everyone's load time. Achievement. Yay! Um, okay, get that off. That was weird. The game bar notification was appeared over the Twitch chat. Yeah, Darker Player... That's the thing, guys. I made a mistake when the Series X first became available, when, you know, the first day of pre-orders. I made a mistake, and it has kept me from getting one all this time. And that's that I was holding out for Best Buy to have them. Specifically, I was like, no, I'm just going to get it from Best Buy. Because I want to use my Best Buy credit card for it. And have no interest for 18 months, you know, so I can pay it off slowly. That would have been convenient. But, I... The thing is... Best Buy didn't make their orders available until like an hour late, which was very stupid and awful of them, and it's not like they ever apologize to customers. So, but while I was waiting on that, Walmart had made theirs available, and the Microsoft store had made theirs available, and if I'd used either of those sources, I would have one now. But I just, I didn't know. I didn't know it was going to be so ridiculous this year. With, like, bot technology has advanced and gotten out of control, and the stores aren't doing much about it, and Microsoft and is doing a very poor job of meet, you know, meeting demand. So, it just sucks. I'm kicking, I mean, I kick myself. You know, our friend Matt Young, who is, you know, not the most patient person in the world, he got both those consoles because he just ordered from Walmart, you know, but I made the mistake of being loyal to a particular retailer and it has cost me. So frustrating. I was this, loyal to just trying to get the better value out of your money yeah. but that's just the reality is these companies aren't really thinking about the market ah, the way it is they're thinking about the way it used to be yeah if i just you're right they haven't advanced and you're right yeah i was trying to get the best value by not having to pay interest but anyway i'll you know now i'll pay interest i'll eat that little thing or i'll just pay with cash and not you know have less cash for the month but i want the dang thing and it's very annoying yep, like it would make I our stream ex oh sorry yeah, i was just I gonna say it would make the stream a lot nicer to have the shorter loading and stuff but what were you saying no i was just saying my thing is i don't want to be scalper prices yeah scalper me, prices are ridiculous prices. you're right because scalping is wrong i mean like a little scalping if it doesn't hurt anything is one thing but when scalping is out of control like it is right now that's terrible it's when you're creating artificial uh, scarcity that's where yes a problem. that's exactly what they've done there's oh. even even our tyler scalped the ps5 although he hasn't said how much money he made off of it but the ps5 the demand or the availability is a little better the supply is better like i could have bought one the other day and brian could have bought an extra one the other day if you if we had wanted but we didn't because yep. i can't yeah, i can't I afford to get both is, i would have bought it from him myself <laughs> Yeah, well, poor Tyler. I mean, not poor Tyler, but I mean, I, I wish he would communicate in our Discord better. 
but he hasn't been. But his situation much. is a little more understandable because he it's not like he went out with the purpose of scouting. He bought it and decided he didn't want it. Yeah, which is fair, and this level isn't gang. Ah! You have to really just squeeze between these things and you're sliding around. It's like you're a air hockey puck. No, you're right, if nobody would buy those consoles. But, I mean, that's the thing. We all, we've waited how many years for the new generation? The new generation is here and we all really want it. I, yes, I will wait and not pay a scalper price. Or if I was gonna pay a scalper price, I'd pay like 50 to 100 extra. But absolutely no more than that. Yeah, yep. I was, I've been yeah, looking at Amazon to see and there's was like one available uh. for $1,038. <laughs> yeah, I mean, anything above 700 for just a console is utterly ridiculous. This level is a pain! Oh my gosh, it's annoying. Yeah. But you heard what's happening to the scalpers, right? A lot of them are getting robbed. Uh, you know, I don't want anyone to get robbed, but also scalpers sure do suck. What? Well, there was that one idiot that posted his info online. I kind of deserve that. <laughs> oh, I made it! <sighs> How are they getting robbed? Like, Darwin, uh, uh, well, because they're uh, scalping these PlayStations, so people are robbing them from PlayStation. Uh, but this one idiot was online actually calling everybody uh, morons and then uh, showing all pictures of stacks and stacks of PlayStations. Ooh, that's ugly. And that, that the guy kind of does, like, ask for it. That's one of those, yes. like, I don't agree with the robbery, but frankly, you earned it. That's uh, just my robbery in this case. Yeah. People are just too selfish. I mean, you know, you've got this type of person who won't wear their mask and everything, and I'm sure a lot of that type of person is doing the scalping. Yeah. I mean, because it's just different different levels of selfishness. And just opportunists. That too. By the way, well, same it thing was... happening like it with the uh, when everybody was worried about the natural disasters. People were buying up all the water and then hiking prices on all that stuff. Uh, that's even yeah. worse because it's that's not even a like a toy like game system that's uh, yeah needed yeah and we still can't get Lysol and Lysol wipes like they're just always sold out here and part of that is the company failing to meet demand and again I think companies deserve to be blamed for that that's their whole well, thing that's, making the product but that's a little different because you're you're talking about like ten times their normal production rate the, true the, the bigger issue is when you have organizations and individuals. Out of hoarding the stuff Normal. for no legitimate reason. Yeah, that is uncool. Other than they can. But I mean, yeah, okay, they couldn't make enough Lysol in March or April or May, but we're now in November. Like, they've had time to increase their their output. Like, come Not on, really, catch up. because if you consider trying to keep things safe and the fact that it's not like one part of the supply chain is broken, the entire supply chain is broken. Yeah. Uh, if you've ever dealt with anything in production or dealt with anyone that deals with production level stuff, supply chains are stupid complicated these days. It's not like company A makes product A, he has 90% of the parts and he puts them together himself. It's company A orders part A from company A or from company B. Company B orders part C from company B and there's like 50 companies to make one little tiny thing as a part of a bigger uh, thing. I thought Tyler's birthday was tomorrow. Is Tyler actually here? Because Platinum is talking to him. Yeah, I know you said that before, but I just don't believe it's not a solvable problem. And I think almost a year is it not It is and it isn't, it. but it, it's a normalization problem. Because they also can't ramp up things to the point where they can't afford to sustain it. So it's, it's a catch-22. They need to improve production, but they can't overscale. They need to uh, control production, but uh, they also need to ramp up. For quality control reasons, they're, all, they're going to be fighting themselves. So everything that increases production hurts every part of the production process. Well, it needs to catch up, dang it. I'm sick of not being able to properly disinfect things. Yeah. That's right. the same reason why there's a console shortage. There's, <laughs> there's, there's a supply problem with memory, there's a supply problem with uh, the CPUs, uh, yeah, and I, they're all being made by the same couple companies. And they have to do a lot of testing, and they do get a lot of dud CPUs and, and ch the yeah. chips. The chips are the thing. Like, you get a lot of duds that you have to throw away as i understand it yep and, and, but here's yeah. the, what makes it worse is 90 percent of it's coming from one company that's manufacturing for every major company out there apple microsoft sony that uh, chinese Samsung, company that all has of all them the come from one company 
you know, yeah. that's not that's not even them. This, this is the bad company. That's the next company one. Oh. Uh, and now even Nvidia is trying to get to go to them for production because they're doing better than the other guys. Huh. Uh, Intel is trying to go to them because Intel can't keep up with their own yeah. production. So there's just not enough supply to go around. Well, it's that is definitely a shame. And yeah, Platinum Tyler and Perfect Zero don't sound anything alike. I can't believe he thought it was you. That's funny. <laughs> sound like Tyler? I did anything to pop off. Oh, he thought so, but I'm just teasing him. Platinum's great. And Platinum, unlike many of our users, is a good Discord user. So I gotta love him, especially for that. Yep, and he's very valuable. He's Platinum after all. <laughs> yeah, gotta give him credit for that. Ah, here we go. Yeah, yes, I know you can make your own ble your own disinfectant at home. I just like I have zero interest in doing that. I use pre I use Lysol wipes. I buy the wipes. They're they're pre made. Get them out. Clean things. Like that's how I like to clean things. But I, you know maybe we should do that because well, I've got yeah, all these things that need to be cleaned. For the exactly. <sighs> You have to compensate for the realities of the production. Uh, you're right. I got all these things that need to be dusted off and cleaned, you know, and like I want it, I don't. They're just sitting around. You don't being want to dusty. do more work because you're being yeah. you're being an American. Well, I have this, being an American I have a very finite thing. amount of of time, and I divide it up it, as I see fit. I don't even get much gaming into my free time, you know, except for certain days. Like I'm usually doing family things and uh, whatever we have to do, but. Yeah, being a family exactly. oh, Starting to a You're right, Dr. Sabota. This is neat, by the way. This level. I mean, this this game is very creative with how it makes its puzzles. Or, I, I guess they're not really puzzles, but just the scenarios. Ah, God, look at it. It's so constricting. I oh, know. Yeah, the other thing about Rags is it's also a lot more environmentally friendly. You're not just throwing more trash out. Ah, uh, yeah, that Tyler. What is Tyler's problem? It, the thing is, he doesn't let me know until sure like an hour. What are you talking about not wanting to do it? <sighs> Tyler, well, but no, I, mean, I was talking about Tyler not being on mic in response to the chat. But Tyler doesn't let me know until like an hour or less before the stream that he's not going to be available. And so then, uh, yeah, it's hard to find a replacement in that situation. Not, I mean, Tom's always cool about, but like, uh, you know, because we also like to try to get different people on mic sometimes, but we just don't get to do that a lot of times but hey we had brian last week that was cool and you're cool tom i'm just saying for the variety <laughs> part of it ah. uh tell the truth paul you don't like your own <laughs> that's what it is not at all i'm gonna go quiet my corner now oh yeah you're right Icky. i should just check in with him earlier but but also he has things just come up later in the day you know he's just too he's such a busy social being. busy and that's life. You get older, you get busier. Yeah, well, with him, it's social busy, but that's fine. And I'm still busy. Yeah. So what have you been playing this week, Tom? Uh, honestly, not that much. I've been working like crazy. I've been oh. involved in a massive project. I heard you have to work next weekend, or is it this weekend that you're working? Uh, well, this, not... As in today and tomorrow, but as in uh, this coming weekend. Okay, yeah. Uh, there's a very uh, VIP client who, uh, this just says, rather demanding on other people's time. Oh. Well, at least it's set up in advance. Uh, kind of. He's one of those people who's going to change things up. So it's less about what we plan and more about what we have to plan for. Oh, boy. Yeah, uh, that's that's good, Darker Player, that you got that mini gamer score. Yeah, I just can't go after gamer score like I used to. The closest thing is if I really like a game, then I'll try to get all the achievements in it eventually. But it's not like it's not like uh, the style of achievement hunting that you're describing, because I don't have the I time stopped, for it. I stopped paying attention to gamer score like almost five years ago. Oh, I still really like it. You know, like I'm still that kind of person who would try to get it all, but I just don't have the time. So. That's basically what it is. Ah. It's, it's too much effort, and they also uh, to get really good scores. Uh, when, you, when you're busy, you have to play more crappy games. That Whoa, you did great on that. Play. I'm just going to put that yes, out there. Yes, exactly. When you have so little time, you can't be playing games that you don't really want to play just for achievements. you got to play the games you do want to play. Yep. And unfortunately for you, most of the games I want to play, 
the like 300 hour long games. <laughs> yeah, you, you and your Assassin's Creed's. Oh, uh, you also have the Witcher series. Ah. Pretty much Another every game. Yeah, yeah. game. Didn't know the ledge. Pretty much into the story building games. Yeah, I mean, me, I want to, you know, I've got my EDF that I play with you and Brandy all the time, and I love that. And I like PSO a lot, and in fact, I've had more renewed interest in it lately since getting remote play working. And then I want to play Dragon Quest XI-S. You know, when that comes out on the 3rd, that's going to become my main game that I play besides PSO. Uh, and then, besides that, I just have my weekly things that I play every week, and that's about it. Ah. Actually, you want to know my new guilty Tough pleasure? Thing. What's that? Uh, lately, I uh, while I'm working at home doing my uh, remote management stuff, I've mm -hmm. been playing 8K uh, video clips on YouTube, just letting them run on my TV. <laughs> uh, something just soothing about just sitting back and just watching a slowly panning camera across scenery. There was a 4K like Tokyo downtown tour where they, it's nighttime and they're walking through. Or maybe it was Akihabara, I forget, but you know it's just like a 4K Probably video of some. Yeah, and they're just walking around it, and I did find that rather both interesting and soothing at once, you know, like, yep. kind of like being there. Oh, uh, it's actually really cool. That's part, what actually got me into it is because uh, lately I've had a number of clients where we set up uh, park brain displays, so they're just basically giant freaking TVs set up to work, like, picture uh, And one of the things I, was, I started to use to demo them for customers Dang it. is these... Uh, 4K clip, uh, video clips. They just look gorgeous. Our neighbors are banging around like outside. Got into it. That sounds I'll yeah. That is cool. Back. There's a there's a movie we watched on Netflix. What, oh no, I didn't. I guess I didn't watch that with Brandy. It was a little before we started going out. What well, was it? No, I don't think it was with you. This weird movie about a like a rich guy in the future kidnaps a lady and keeps her in his apartment and there's robots it's on netflix it's some kind of exclusive and it's like a one word title uh but anyway in that movie they had a you know like a wall with big picture stuff like that ah yep. yeah yeah the video walls are actually becoming extremely common now where is it like which direction specifically is it coming from do you know no oh well we're, we're not gonna worry about it yeah, no, I don't think it's anybody messing around, guys. But I also can't tell what the heck it is. Yeah, it sounds like somebody's hammering something or whatever. Yeah, and maybe they are. I mean, I hammer things at odd hours. It might get on the neighbor's nerves occasionally. But I hardly ever actually have to hammer things. Yeah. Uh, it's still early, early hours for you guys, so it could be a problem in a couple hours. True. Agreed. But I just don't like when people are making noise during my stream. I assume you're in noise pollution walls in your area for uh, 9 o'clock as well. Most areas tend to be 9 o'clock. Good question. I'm not, I'm not certain. Basically, if people are being too loud after 9 in most communities, it's either 9 or 10 or where you live. This is, gotcha. uh, that's when you're allowed to call the cops and there's crazy toddlers about it. Right. It's raining too. It is? Yeah. Wow, I can't hear that at all because of my headphones. This is a cool game. Here's another game I would love to stick with. Like, Well, I've got the week off because of Thanksgiving, so maybe I'll keep playing this. Definitely going to play some Harvest Moon and Metamorphosis. Dragon Quest, and who knows what else, depending on how things shake out. Icky, when you gave out the Steam giveaway, did you mention that it was donated by Dark Six and what the genre is? Because I think that information is important for getting people to participate. Oops. We haven't seen Dark Six in a while, have we? Some people just stop in every now and then, but other people, they just drop off. Which is a shame, because we love all of our viewers. Apparently, uh, Link Glad to hear it, Link. Are you playing it? Have you actually played it too, Link? I mean, if you have Game Pass, you can get this. So remember, guys, if you if you have Game Pass, don't bother entering the contest, please. Let somebody who doesn't have it get it. But at least that would be my recommendation. Nice, Brian likes the music too. Hey, Shitsu, it's good to see you. 
Oh, he hasn't actually tried it. Well, I'm glad everybody's enjoying the stream. I wish you could see me on video, because that's... For me, at least, I find it much more entertaining, but... We'll take care of that by next week. Are webcams still expensive and scarce, or could I replace my webcam if I needed no, to? webcams are pretty cheap. It's well, been for, a while since I bought one, but last I checked, they were still cheap. Well, in March, they had gotten all jacked up because of the pandemic. Yeah. Yes. And, uh, Dragon... That's possible. I can't wait for Dragon Quest either. I'm also going to buy a physical copy. But if I... I want to get the physical copy at launch to support the publisher, you know, or to support the series. Like, I intend to be part of the demand for Dragon Quest that helps them release more of them on Xbox and more of them in America, etc. But, yeah, it's, it's on Game Pass, so you can just play it that way. And I do highly recommend you do it, because that still supports the series somewhat. Ah. Speaking of, it's, you know that they uh, they re they re released the uh, Dragon Quest anime, right? Or remastered, I should say. It's uh, it's a new thing, but it's the same show. Yeah, that, that's the thing. It's not even a remaster. It is a new show telling the same story. You know, yeah. uh, re you could say a reboot if you wanted, but but yeah, I it's do, and we we watch that, it. Honestly, even the art style is almost identical. Yeah, it's music's cool. a lot different, but the they're telling the story at a faster pace. The goal seems to be to actually get to the end of the manga's story. The original cartoon did not, it got canceled before they got to the end, unfortunately. So yeah. I'm hoping they actually do get to the end because that would be really great. And it's a good show. Have you watched any of it yet? Yeah, I have uh, Crunchyroll and Funimation. Nice. So the very first episode is maybe a little bit, a little bit rushed and may not hook people. But if you watch like up to the fourth episode or so, I think you'll start to see what's so special about it. And speaking of Hulu, the new Animaniacs is out on Hulu, isn't it, Tom? Oh, yes. Uh, How many? It's pretty much just like it was before, though. The Pink in the Brain sessions are not as good. Really? We, we watched part of the first episode before the stream. We didn't, again, we woke up late, so we didn't have time to watch the full episode. But, uh, so we had to stop right before Pinky and the Brain. It still has the songs that are informational and funny. And yep. the, the art style, I love it. It's like, it looks the same except in crystal clear HD, you know? That's neat. Wait till you get to the uh, Buns episode. Buns or Buttons? Yes. Buns. Buns. Interesting. Everybody has a... I have a right to have as many Buns as I want. You deserve to have a Bun. <laughs> oh, God. That sounds great. Uh, they they even uh, pull off the whole... Well, I won't give, give it away, but uh, I'll give you a clue. The word Buns is a stand-in or something. Interesting. Yeah, guys, if you have Hulu, you must watch the new Animaniacs. It is just like the old show, but you may have forgotten how special the old show was. It is very special and clever, and it's so good to have it back and not just old episodes. Yes. This level's tough. You'll probably like the uh, episode where uh, the uh, orange-skinned uh, uh, ogre uh, <laughs> is talking about how great his island is. Interesting. That sounds clever and, and topical. Also, read between the very uh, obvious lines. They, they're, they're puns and they're political. You think it not so at all? Yeah, that is perfectly fine. Is Hello Nurse still in the show? Uh, they haven't shown her yet. They just finally introduced uh, the, uh, the the giant chicken. Yeah, what was the giant chicken named? I can't remember. I honestly don't remember already, and I just watched that. Uh, and, and I wonder is morning. yeah, I wonder if Slappy the Squirrel and some of the, like Buttons and Mindy will make appearances at all. I love uh, it. It looks like they're gonna they plan on hitting all the major characters, all the more popular ones. I hope so. Like at least just have them casually in a scene or something, even if they don't give them a short. That would be fine with me. Okay, lady. Yeah. Buttons and I don't remember if Buttons and Mindy is like something that holds up, but it was cute back then. Ah, this one is tough and annoying. <laughs> I wonder uh, if, did you if see you're having trailer for the uh, live action uh, Sylvester and Tweety. Uh, you mean Tom and Jerry, don't you? Or Tom and Jerry, I mean, yeah. Yeah, no, I I read a little bit about it, but I haven't seen it. I like the concept of it. Is does it look any good? It looks like a very terrible uh, cash grab. Oh, because they're hand drawn, aren't they, or are they computer generated? No, it, it's CG. Uh, it's CG with live action. Oh, okay. So think think of the Garfield movie, but with yeah. less character. 
Uh, the Garfield movie was much worse than it should have been, especially having Bill Murray do the voice. Should have been better. Yeah, but I still, just from watching the trailer, I still think it's going to be better than the Tom and Jerry movie. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that, that's exactly yeah, how much hope I have in this movie. Yeah, whoever owns Tom and Jerry hasn't exactly done great things with them in the last 20 years. You got some direct-to-video movies, and nobody seems to like them, so I never bothered watching them. But I like Tom and Jerry. I like the originals. I agree. So yeah. if if they made anything good with it, I'd be interested in watching. But yeah. Dragon Quest boxers on Amazon Japan? That's awesome. Except they wouldn't. They'll only come in kid sizes since they're Japanese products. <laughs> Uh, and and even Icky, <laughs> even Icky might not be able to wear them because Icky is unusually large for an Asian person, and I don't mean that in a sexual way. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna leave that alone. <laughs> exactly, that's what she said. Right on, Icky. That was perfect. But yeah, I, like there's a lot of cool Japanese clothing that I would buy if I thought it had any hope of fitting me. You know, their their extra large is going to be like American small or something. You know, it's just not even worth trying. In other words, Granny, that's a hint. Paul's not allowed to go anywhere near Akihabara if you want any money in bank account. <laughs> oh no, I mean, uh, if we we would like to eventually go to Japan, although it'll probably be like five, ten years in the future. So. Has there been any... PlayStation 5 has had some major bug issues, and there's some bugginess with the Series X, but it sounds like Sony's yeah. got it worse off. Yep, the Xbox and, uh, supposedly has some ah. people with drive issues, uh, though I've only heard like one or two accounts of it, and nothing concrete as far as what the issue is. So I don't know how widespread or if it really legitimately is an issue. Uh, on the PlayStation, though, there are countless reports and examples of major insanely level like how did this get like the way uh, OS level bug bugs and some other, other just like why did you do that kind of software decisions <laughs> yeah I've heard a lot of things and they've had like coil noise problems isn't that a thing you can fix yep, it yourself apparently some people they uh, figured out that Jim it's it. caused by an improperly 50 attached levels. sticker nice <laughs> an improperly attached sticker that is ridiculous yeah. It happens. Uh, it's, you, these things are accurate with a uh, micron, so a minor thing is going to be enough to cause a problem. Wow. Should we? I feel like we just didn't get to talk about enough fun stuff, but we're towards the end of stream time. You guys in the audience, how much longer should we stream? Five minutes or just this level? Let's get your opinions. Uh, Platinum's bringing up that the Series X has an issue with black level. Oh. The One X or the uh, Xbox actually had original issues with that with uh, with the Blu-ray player, so that's definitely just a software issue. Yeah, well that means they uh, can fix that, it. That would be nice. Yeah, well they they had to fix it originally with the uh, Xbox One because uh, uh, that lasted a good while before they fixed that issue. Dang. I do not even remember it, but I believe you. Okay. Uh, what? Well, <laughs> That's basically my bread and butter is uh, video quality, so I it's True. very close to it. Ah, yeah, and I, I like yeah, that stuff. Speaking of which, uh, a lot of games attention. that play some uh, games are showing up darker. Achievement. Huh. Nice. But the funny thing is, uh, as a side effect, even though it's causing detail issues, it's actually making some games look better than what they actually are. Because uh, when you have higher contrast, it actually artificially makes you like. So it's like this is bad, but it looks better. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, but if anyone happens to get a Series X and wants to sell it to me at cost or barely near to it just to help the stream out, then make sure you hit me up on Discord or Twitter and we'll try to work it out. Or email, obviously, would be good. Well, I'm still going to try Like, Walmart is going to have orders open on Wednesday or Thursday this week. I think Thursday. And we, uh, Brandy they, and I... They, they moved the time, by the way, to the Oh, interesting. Brandy and I will give it a shot. There's two of us trying. Maybe one of us will manage to get it. But I know their site's just going to crash and suck again. It's going to be utterly yep. horrible. But we'll try, you know, and maybe one of us will finally get through. 
But if anyone can do their part and actually get an extra one and be able to sell it to me for very close to cost, then please do so. Because that, I mean, it'll improve the stream and we'd be able to get, like, we'd be able to get Series X games to stream and even give away sometimes. But especially just to be able to stream them would be nice. We can't do that until we've got the hardware. Yeah, Platinum, if you're able to get a hold of a couple of X's, I uh, am actually looking to get two X's and a PS5. <laughs> uh, but unfortunately, with my work schedule, I'm probably waiting until they're in more supply. Did Platinum say he can get a bunch somehow? <laughs> no, he said he's, he's trying to get an extra one to offer. Oh, so yeah, thank you. If I'm you're able to. I'm just trying to throw my own hat in that ring. Yeah, we would be so it grateful. Help the street, but it helped me. Yeah, I mean, even if, even if I have to pay you full price and shipping and everything, or if you're able to get the order in and it doesn't ship immediately, then I can tell you my address and you can have it shipped to me, and that would be way better. But, you know, if we can have a trustworthy friend of the stream handle that, then that would be a big help for the stream, and we would love it. So you got a bonus level section also. We're just going to quickly glance at these features and wrap things up. Tiny Huge, collect five tokens. What's this like? What's so yeah, bonus the, the about PlayStation it? does have a lot of HDMI issues. It also doesn't do VVR, apparently. What's that? I don't even know what that is. Uh, variable bit, which is the big advantage of... Uh, HDMI 2.1. Oh. Good old HDMI 2.1. We're not worried about variable refresh rate. Ah. And why do you want a variable refresh rate ever? It compensates for uh, image tearing when your when your uh, system can't produce a yeah. consistent frame. We so, like very few level. games consistently do uh, 60, 30, or 120 frames a second. So to keep it balanced, the monitor basically compensates for it dynamically. You know, the bonus levels it, don't it seem to tell you if you beat the level. I don't like that. Custom levels. What's custom levels? No custom levels found. How do you get them? Maybe you make them. Oh, so yeah, you, you got... Oh, them. there's multiplayer, too. We should have been doing multiplayer. Local multiplayer, I assume. Yeah, four-player local multiplayer. This game has a lot to offer. Free sync. Yeah, yeah, I've heard free sync. Okay, that explains it. Yeah, free sync's a branded version of the same idea. Uh, I really don't want to get why PlayStation doesn't do 1440p. It's just a common monitor resolution release. Yeah, didn't you say you're afraid but, they're not going to add it? I thought somebody said they were going to add it. So here's the uh, level they editor, haven't guys. Officially said they are or not. We've been playing Hyperdot for Xbox. It is an Xbox Play Anywhere title, so if you buy it on Xbox or Windows 10, you get both versions with cross-platform saves. It's a $20 game on Xbox. is currently on sale for $16. This game has a lot to it. It's really good. Local multiplayer, make your own levels, several single player modes. I'm loving it and I look forward to playing more. It's also available on Steam if you prefer that platform for 20 bucks. We hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Tom, thank you for co-hosting tonight. Always a pleasure. Brandy Bell, thank you for being there. Quiet and lovable. Always. Thank you, Icky, for running the contest. Thanks to all of you guys. We'll name you during the credits. We love you all. We'll see you next Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. We miss Tyler. And remember, don't hate. Appreciate. Bye. Now, pizza zane. Uh-oh. Sir Kali, good to see you. Yay, Shitsu, thank you for resubscribing. You are the man, thank you. The ex Latino Heat, great to see you. Jono, of course. Brian, thank you for everything. Human Brian, always wonderful. Darker Player was here, love you. Link was here. Jordan, of course. Many, did I say the ex Latino? I better have. Many other people. Let's see who else we can say bye to. Vinny BT, we love you. Thanks for being one of our new regulars. We love that. Platinum Ace Trick, yes, Platinum. Platinum is rad.